it's not something that I think anybody can easily describe. Because it's like so many things at once. A bakery, deli, like basically anything you want. So I, I do my best to say like it's just everything. You just like have to go. I have been coming here for 25 years since well those opened. My name is Becky Shepherd, and my husband and I started the business 25 years ago this year. Our idea was that we wanted to offer local, all natural and organic food to the Brunswick community. And this was obviously way before it was hip. When we started, we didn't even have a stove top. We just started with two ovens and we used to make one soup a day and an electric wok. Sometimes we grew the business around what equipment was available. Sometimes we grew the business on what ingredients were available. We have the best carrot cake in the world. Uh, yeah, the carrot cake. Oh, and the sour cream coffee cake. Vanilla with chocolate frosting is my favorite, but I've also had the German chocolate cupcake. It's so good. Way back when, when we started, you couldn't buy fresh bread anywhere in the marketplace. Bagels were still an ethnic food. The whole food scene, I would say, was completely different and people's mindset was different. Food is really good. I mean, <laughs> I, I love the food here and I love that everything's fresh. Uh, our soup bar is one of the biggest things that always blows people away. You, know, you go anywhere else, there's three soups a day. You come here, there's, in the winter time, like 15 soups you can choose from. I just like the creativity here. There's always something being done. Sometimes we have a new ingredient that we may get from a local farm. Sometimes uh, we need to develop recipes because we're looking for more vegan or gluten-free products. Sometimes it's just coming up with something that's new and original and fresh so that we're not making the same thing every day. I personally would recommend the, when we have it, the caramelized fennel pasta salad. It's nice, it's just we don't have fennel all the time, so when you see it, definitely get it. For me, whole foods are not only more nutritious and just uh, more pleasing to eat, but I know that working down through the food chain that using local and organic foods is something that is really important to the environment. We try to buy as much locally as we can. We try to establish relationships with farmers so that not only can we get things year round, but also we oftentimes buy up their entire crop so that it makes it worthwhile for them and worthwhile for us. John Riggleman, I teach English and a film class here at the high school. I love gardening, I love working with kids, so this was a kind of a natural. And I, I said, Becky, would you support this kind of project? And she was all in, you know, she immediately got it. Food, local, agriculture, organic, getting kids involved, so it was perfect. Wild Oats is, uh, is a bakery and it's a place to get lunch, but as much or more than that, it's, it's a community meeting place. I'm the youngest of seven children, and so food and being around family was obviously very important to me. My dad always preached the three H's to us, humanity, humility, and humor. I think it was a lot about giving back to the community. Um, my mom allowed us to be very creative and passionate about things, and I think she gave us that instinct. We have a really good gluten-free raspberry almond macaroon. I'm not even gluten-free, but I can eat that breakfast, lunch, dinner. It is so good. Well, everybody's favorite is obviously, and maybe it's not obvious, but it is to me, the carrot cake, because it's the best thing ever. You should definitely get a sandwich and get something that you maybe wouldn't normally get on it. The pesto mayo is awesome. I've never had anything better. I would say tomato or bread is like hands down best bread. I don't even like tomatoes and I'm like, I will have anything on this bread. I often get asked about the, how hard it is to run the business and people tend to focus on getting up early or focus on the food or whether the bread doesn't rise. But really what's behind all of it is the people. And that's a real passion that I have working with people and knowing that it's the people that keep the bakery running and that's something that I see every day. It's just really amazing to walk around and see what people are doing on a daily basis. When you come in here it just it smells like home, what home's supposed to be like. It's really great when I go upstairs and I'm taking a load up and someone inevitably says, oh it smells so good. If I'm not at home or I'm not at work, my friends know to come look for me here. I love it here, I really do.